What's going on guys? We are back in Uvita and in today's video we want to show you guys another place that you can visit while you're staying here in the area. We're gonna go visit now Jaka Waterfalls. Today Stacy's mom Mijella will be joining us and actually between the three of us none of us have actually been there before so this will be a totally new adventure for all of us. As far as I know it's actually one of the more famous waterfalls not just here in the area but in all of Costa Rica so we're gonna go see if it lives up to the hype as well. It's pretty early in the morning and the park is open from 7 a.m to 2 p.m and I think it's about a 30 to 40 minute drive so I'm not gonna waste any more time Vamos a Naujaca. Okay, we've made it through. We've parked our cars just behind us here. There's a little bit of a parking garage where you can leave your cars if you're driving here. And the tickets were about, what did you say? Like $6 for ticos and for foreigners, a little bit more. We're actually not sure how much it costs for foreigners because they didn't ask me. Apparently I look tico. <laughs> I think the trail said it was about eight kilometers to uh, the waterfalls. No, four. They put eight because it's like four there and four come back Ah, here. okay, okay. Yeah, four there, four back. So it shouldn't take us too yeah. long. Also, there. they offer like an option to go in a truck. Like they can take you in a, in a truck if you don't want to walk mm -hmm. all the way. Or also horse ride. We're going to use our legs. Yeah. <laughs> and actually I was wrong earlier when I said that it closed at 2 because apparently it closes at 3 today. Today is Monday. We're just entering into the dry season here. So I don't know if that makes a difference. But today it's open until 3. So we have a little bit of extra time. About five seconds into the hike and we're already able to see some really beautiful views of the rivers here and what we think is a waterfall way off in the distance and maybe it's Diamante, the same one that we saw when we visited uh, Morete waterfall. Like I mentioned right now, I believe is the beginning of the dry season. It hasn't been raining as much as it was in the past. The water today is, should be really, really beautifully blue and hopefully good enough for swimming and not too dangerous for us. So this this thing here i don't actually know the name but we like used to play with that and we call it like spiders and it was hours of fun you know like playing with this and like <laughs> and it's gone, <laughs> and then it's gone. <laughs> hours of fun i really yeah. believe that seconds now <laughs> I'm right next to the spiders. You got this incredible view right here. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. In case anyone was wondering where Stacy got it from, the answer is right there. <laughs> Competencia. <laughs> Apparently, I'm the master at this. Oh my god. <laughs> Stacy just spotted some monkeys here. These ones are the white-faced capuchin monkeys that we saw when we went to Playa Hermosa, but we didn't get a good view of them. These ones are very close. Check this out. These are the ones that always cause problems. They're always stealing people's food and jumping on people. That's usually when they are like very, yeah, like humanized. Ah, uh, domesticated. Like domesticated, yeah. yeah, because in this area, like they don't know about that. They don't know about human food. For example, in Manuel Antonio, that's why they ha they prohibited to get food into the parks because people feed them and that's yeah. what caused the problem. But here you can see like they're just chilling. <laughs> if they learn, yeah, they are really bad. <laughs> Looks like we made it. We made it. To the sign at least. Yeah. <laughs> Founded in 1992. I'm 93. So. I'm 91. <laughs> I'm older than Naujaka. Yeah, and I'm younger than Naujaka. Actually, I was just founded before Naujaka, but Naujaka is much older than the both of us. Yes. So there's actually two different waterfalls here. There's the upper fall 
and the lower fall and pool. So I think we're going to the upper fall first because you're not allowed to swim in there. And then we're gonna work our way to the lower fall where we're actually able to swim. And it is super hot today, so I cannot wait to jump in those lower falls. I can't see them too much just now, but you can hear them. They're just down below us. That's the pool that's a thousand square meters? A thousand square meters. Yeah. That's the one we can swim in. Guys, we're approaching this waterfall right now and oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Check this out, wow. I was expecting it to be beautiful. I was not expecting it to be that beautiful. Wow. That's so one of the cool. nicest waterfalls I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, me too. Wow. This is the first time I come to Nojaka. Yeah, what's wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Of course, doing research is an important thing before you travel, but sometimes when you don't overdo research, like searching pictures and all that stuff and videos, you end up with beautiful surprises like this. And like I said, I think this is a very famous waterfall. I just knew nothing about it before coming, but wow. You're very lucky to call this country home. walk right down onto the rocks right below this waterfall but for sure you cannot swim in that because that's sure death right there so impressed with this waterfall it's so beautiful yeah the sound of this waterfall is also insane which just goes to show the power of nature and like i said it hasn't been raining a lot lately so just imagine if we came here a few weeks ago when it was still raining a lot every day this waterfall will be even bigger those are future frogs <laughs> I just found a little frog sleeping, it's very cute. Pushing up on her eyes. <laughs> How do you always find these things? Like you just walk around and find things in cracks and rocks and in yeah. trees. Like when I walk, I'm always like watching na uh, nature and I can notice like little things moving or like patterns that are different like like that. I was just looking at the rocks and that was different from all the colors. Even though she was like camouflage, I don't know. I just find animals like that. I'm officially declaring that Stacy's gonna start doing tours. So follow her on Instagram, Stacy.Malibu. That's three U's. I'll link it in the description below. <laughs> <laughs> lower falls where everyone is swimming. I need to get in that water. I'm sweating, I'm super hot. It looks super welcoming as well. It's much cooler down here too. Colder than Morete? 100%. Like, right now. Also, I think because of, like, it's so powerful that all the wind sounds like yeah. that. So it's like... Yeah, all the mist is blowing towards us. We're fighting the mist. This is actually the only dry spot we've actually been able to come <laughs> and, and see the falls behind us. Oh, that water is cold, though. <laughs> right now, it's sunny. It's, it feels a little bit better, but yeah. if it's not sun, it's so cold. What do you think for your first time being in Aljaca comparing it to the other waterfalls you've been in Costa Rica? I think this is like, yeah, like one of the most impressive. Uh -huh. Yeah, it looks like, you know, like when we say like from a movie. Not one that you would see in real life, but like one from <laughs> a cartoon or something. Like it's crazy. Look at it. I'm actually very blown away. Costa Rica is Avatar. <laughs> 
that's the other pool over there that we were gonna go check out but we got too distracted in the actual pool under the waterfall so you can go swimming down there and it looks a lot calmer and very beautiful and the colors are really really beautiful right? I lied, the sun is coming out, it's getting hotter again. We're going down to the other pool. It's just so welcoming. <laughs> been here for the last hour or so and we took our time getting here and now I'm absolutely starving so yeah, we need to go eat. Yeah we're gonna go to a very nice place. A secret place. I'll we'll show you guys in a moment. <laughs> but it's really cool. We actually haven't been there before. Yeah so. never. Let's try. Come check it out. Majela, te gustas la catarata? Bastante. Bastante bonita. <laughs> a little bit unrelated to the video today, but yesterday we went to a river nearby where we live and we saw a snake eating a frog. And we just found out that the snake that was eating the frog is super venomous. We weren't that close to it, luckily, but close enough for it to be a hazard, I guess. So word of advice, when in Costa Rica, always be careful of your surroundings, especially on these trails, because there are a lot of dangerous snakes and other animals here that can be harmful to us. Pretty cool to see, though. What was the name of the snake? Culebra. Lora. Lora is a, also a way to call parakeets. It's because her color is very green. It's like the color is very bright, uh, similar to the, the, the parakeets, yeah, the green ones. Okay, yeah, keep an eye out for these ones. They eat frogs yeah. and possibly people. Look at that spider, it's so cute. It's almost like invisible. You are super close to that thing. I'm pretty comfortable with wildlife, but nowhere near as comfortable as you are. You are super close to that thing. Why are you not afraid of those, <laughs> but you're afraid of frogs and geckos? I don't know. I feel they can kill me. <laughs> like swallow me. I don't know. They're nasty. These are cute. I grew up like surrounded by insects. Now Stacy's explaining why they call them spiders better. They look like spiders, look, look. Don't you think? Yeah, we can call it that. I'm an amateur and mine looks more like a Christmas ornament than a spider. <laughs> some more nature lessons from Stacy as we just found some cacao. So does the fruit and when it grows and gets ready, that's when you crack it and you can eat the outside of the seed. I guess it would just be the fruit of the cacao. Uh -huh. Yeah, the fruit. And then the, the seeds is what get roasted and get into cocoa, cocoa becomes what we know as chocolate yeah <laughs> eventually well we did it back to the bridge where, where, where we started this morning we see I'm so hungry right now sí, yo i could eat a whole airplane worth of food right now Might have given it away a little bit there, but we are going to be eating at an airplane restaurant today. <laughs> That's why you said, like, I can eat a plate. <laughs> I thought that was clear. <laughs> We've driven by this place a few times, and I've always wanted to stop here and eat here, actually. So we're going to give this one a try. I yeah. guess there's also an airplane restaurant in Manuel Antonio, I think. Yeah, too. there is one in Manuel Antonio, actually. Yeah. Yeah. What's with airplane restaurants in Costa Rica? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go see if the let's food is cool. Let's find out. Oh, we just learned that we're not actually eating mm. in the airplane, which yeah. is also kind of strange because, well, the restaurant is right behind me here and they have a pool, which is nice, but this is actually a hotel. I think he said that before, I think maybe at the beginning it was possible, but like now they made it like a, some hotel rooms. I hope they have windows on the other side because that does not look very ventilated. Yes. Salud. Mm. Wow. <laughs> she needs energy back. And we got 
micheladas. For those who don't know, micheladas are beer mixed with like lemon juice and then just salted rim and yeah. that's kind of everything. Pretty much like the most basic. Sometimes mm -hmm. you can put a little piece of lemon, a little bit of tahini mm -hmm. mixed with the salt and it makes this make, make it nice. Yeah. yeah, and sometimes you use tomato juice as well, right? Yeah, For micheladas. You can, you can drink it with tomato juice and yeah. it's also very nice. In Guatemala, I know that they use tomato juice for their micheladas. And in Canada, we don't call it a michelada, we call it a Caesar, and we put vodka in it and Tabasco okay. sauce. But <laughs> try that. <laughs> You'll try it soon, for sure. <laughs> it's our hangover drink. <laughs> for starters, we got ourselves some patacones, which are what exactly? Green plantain is cooked and like fried, and you like make it like flat. This, for example, is like mashed beans, frijoles molidos, así, pico de gallo. Pico de gallo, me gusta. Mm, muy bueno. Highly recommend patacones. They are super delicious. Just like eating like healthier potato chips, but with more ingredients on them. Mm. They are very good. Mm. Mm. For those of you who watch my videos know that I always eat the local food. So forgive me for today because I'm having some buffalo wings, but <laughs> not very local food. What do you have here? This is like pork, the chuleta. Chuleta. With vegetables like, and also Italian sausage. And your mom? What does she Pasado, have? Pasado, picadillo de papaya. A typical casado with picadillo de papaya, which is like chopped papaya made into almost like a, not really like a salsa, but like a topping, I guess you could say. Some vegetables, some beans, some rice, plantain. The chuleta there is just pork, I guess. Chuleta, right? Si, pork. All right, yeah, it looks very good. I'm definitely gonna try some of both of yours. No. But no, no one no, is no, having no, my no, buffalo no. wings. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, we just finished up a nice little two-hour break at home, and we decided we'd come to Playa Hermosa, which is a beach that we took you guys in, in a previous video. We wanted to show you guys the sunset because the last time we came here, there wasn't much of a sunset. But unfortunately, today the clouds are out as well, and now it's raining, of course. <laughs> that still is very beautiful. Of course, very beautiful. We promise you we will show you guys a good sunset here at Playa Hermosa or another beach eventually in the future we hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe leave us a comment down below of where you think the best waterfall in costa rica is i think it might be now jacket let us know down in the comments i'll link our instagrams in the description as well we'll see you guys next time